Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 with your three loads in the map. Yes, that's fun. Okay, we're going for a supply raid. I think the same squad as we had before. I don't know if Infi is fine yet, so I'm not gonna take Infi on it. Plus, Infi does need to go and get some. Infirmary time in. Looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. Alright, we have tired people. We have a fair few tired people. Including, of course. Oh, it's a very difficult mission. Of course, it's a very difficult mission. Is Nuke back yet? Nope. Nuke is back in 16 hours. But I do need, I guess, a replacement for my own partner. We'll also take Oli and we'll take uh, Ciara. As well as Dragon and Jack. So Jack, you get to wear the meat suit. Uh, make armor available. Meat. Oh, I, did I give you this one or is this... But did that one actually stay equipped? No idea. Here we go, have an Arashi, have the Katana. Have a Plasma Blaster. As well as, of course, a Mikitilli type is available. We want you to have Talon Rounds. Of course. Of course. Okay, I think Proche is okay with uh, what she has. Only you also need to have. What am I doing? Uh, let's give you Doomstone, and we'll give you the Skull Jack and the Med Kit as is tradition for us, good old specialists. Right. I don't have uh, one of those weapons too, I know I do not. And no one else can equip those armors, so I think we're okay. Uh, you have a beam auto pistol, you could also have a rooster. Now the Black Widow is a better weapon. Also have your Valkyrie, have your Priest. I no idea why you have your equipment unequipped, because no one else can use them anyway. Shall I give you some weapons? Maybe some in ammo? Sure, have some dragon rounds. And dragon? You don't get dragon rounds. No. You getting dragon rounds would be too on the nose. So you're bringing the blue screen for this mission. Okay, and... I am not equipped with a medkit for some reason. No idea what happened there. Alright. That's that. I think we should be good now. Let's build items. Yeah, okay. I have upgraded everything I can from here. So I just have a lot of money that I'm sitting on. That's fine. Contacts in the resistance tipped us to an advent transport they managed to disable when it passed through as part of a larger convoy. Advent security forces are already moving to gather their assets, but we've got a shot at finding something valuable here. We'll have to secure the area, recover the gear, and eliminate any enemy resistance. Awesome. Uh, in fairness, like, if I hadn't gone for the approach of we are all gods now, we probably would not be in a situation wherein I would find myself thinking Oh, hey, we have nothing more to upgrade. Okay, take a look. An alien patrol. That's the equipment we're after. We'll have to do our best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Oh, it's you one of these. Never hide from me. 
Okay, we can work with that. We can very much work with that. Okay, Brioche, take that stone. Because I don't want you to be seen. But from there, you can see pretty much. Well, a lot. Just a whole lot. No need to ask twice. It's pretty good. Okay, only you can take that stump. Bestätigt. I can take fuck all for cover. Oh no, I can reach that tree. That's go, go, go. actual solid cover. And Sierra can run far. So it is decided. And so she will. How many enemies were on this map? I already forgot. Honestly, did check. Okay, this looks like the edge of the map. And uh, that looks like the edge of the map. So there's a big ass area here. Big area full of ass. Okay, dragon, uh, you're gonna move over there for a second. Which will mark You can never escape my slimes in patrol is moving. A lot of enemies. As part of our current path. Uh yeah, sure. So easily set a flame. Oh, there's a survivor. And there's a face as some. Uh... Okay, Brioche, you can continue sneaking up, I guess. We did just remove a whole lot of cover. I do mean like a whole lot of cover. No one has team sight, so that's kind of a shame. We do have combat protocol, which can do a lot to that mech. Not enough, but a lot. And now we are revealed. Right, that's fine. That should mean we can actually start collecting boxes. Oh, these are not... No, it's not that sort of mission. It's a mission of please don't explode the shinies. The shinies must not explode. That's the type of mission this is. And I feel like you can keep the shinies safe. Okay, what do you see? Just a fire boy. Well, I am already revealed, I think. So if I... I don't have a combat protocol. No, yeah, I do. So I can take out the uh, light officer. Safely enough. I could have moved first, but... Well, here we are. Not moving. Luckily for me, this is simply a murder everyone mission. Okay, go take a look over there. Okay, there's faceless and two mutons. Sounds like good, jolly fun. Alright. Go hide in the hidey place. Where the hidey people are hiding. There's also a sector pod, isn't there? It certainly sounds like there's a sector pod. There's a distinct noise a sector pod makes. It sounds a lot like sector pods. Uh, can you bring the mutants over there as well? Thank you. Close to the car, please. Well, very well. That's how you wanna play. 
Ah, right, because Sierra currently looks like the primary target. Because they don't know any better. And uh, remote stop is currently not fully active. A delicate placement. But we can do a little bit of a claymore action, yeah? Assuming the car door is not in the way. It is not. Excellent. That's gonna soften them up a little. I think I need to open this to new possibilities. Okay, I'm gonna run into that cover and so be ready to overwatch. You are going to lightning hands. You're going to lightning hands the faceless, I guess. Forgot you had lightning hands. Which honestly, sort of a weird accomplishment on my part. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Oh. There, the elder slaves. Right. Don't melee the mute. Don't don't melee the mute. Don't. You're not supposed to melee the mute. Don't. Okay, I need Oli next to... Next to that situation as soon as possible. Can I reach? Okay, I can... As previously mentioned, don't melee the mutants. And all I'm thinking of here is melee the mutants. Which, as mentioned, is not what I'm supposed to do. Just face off. Let's get this party started. X-ray neutralized. They've seen me. Those criticals are not quite enough. But they very well might be. Well, the mirror will might have to do. That's the one. Next ah, it could have augmented your legs. Do you have ever reached it? Of course you do. Let's get you over there. A check. Save Sierra, please. Thank you. Which means, of course, the check is now you know that was good, but visible. That's fine. Whatever you say. Oh no, he's gonna step on a box. He's gonna step on a box. Or not. I guess we got lucky in that regard. Don't step on the box. Thank fuck. Wow, we just can't hit that mech. Taking heavy fire. Menace one five. Watch those supply crates. If you destroy them, there won't be anything left for us to recover once the area is secure. Did the mech destroy the crates that I was trying my best not to destroy? Ah. Don't burn. There's heavy fire in this zone. Too close to the heat. Are you talking literally? Because it sounds like you're being heavily literal, don't you? Right. Okay, I'm gonna chain shot this motherfucker. It is not gonna be enough. Let's just try. Our target minimal damage. Plus, it will 
help the others. I should have attacked with Holy first because Holy can shred armor. Fancy that. Okay, we can remote start that truck over there. Is there anyone in range of that truck over there? As far as I can tell. Only the supplies. Those. I don't think I want to destroy those. Oli, 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 you are over there. Move it that closer. Where's the ability to attack? With Brioche. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be an ability that does that. But I can't find it. So shred some armor for me, please. I'm currently just focusing on getting rid of this set of pod. I don't remember, Dragon, what rank are you? You're... Check what, check what rank is... Uh, mayor. Okay, so... You deserve this shot. Exit, now we have a colonel. New kernel. All the kernels. Uh, yeah, let's not shoot that. That's my surprise. I think. Well, how about that? Oh, that's not my surprise, actually. I could have shot that. Oh well. Uh. I think it should be a safe enough maneuver to just go for that. Target eliminated. Should I just go stand right next to the robot? On one hand it's a good fun idea, on the other hand I guess not. You have your extra move. Let's put you in. Well, I want you out of fire. That's a lot of cover that has exploded. Is there a way for you to go there without catching fire? If I did it to move here. Then you cannot reach the cover. Alright, never mind that. But I don't want you to catch fire, so this is a really difficult choice to make. Seems doable. Luckily for me, the robot is an idiot. Which honestly is always a good sign. Yeah, but we got new toys. Yes. And the dragon can finish it. And I think we have Status succeeded. Confirmed. All hostels are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Moving the we did lose some supplies. And there was some damage taken. Sorry. Sorry. I love them all, but when I have this wonderful crown of ice and spikes, I'm gonna take a picture of myself. Those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. 
the remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. Great. Now let's see what the dragon has in store. I'm glad to see that our cooperation with the resistance factions is going so well, Commander. Oh, There's Oli, I thought you were already a colonel. Apparently not. Uh, restoration or capacity discharge? Restoration it is. What is this? I mean... Get some holo targeting in you. Yeah, that's good. Maybe some revival protocol. Those are good things. Homing mine. Okay, and squad site. Yeah. Squad site is very good. Banish. Yes. Annihilate. Okay. These are very, all very good and fun. And check, you also leveled up. Deep cover or untouchable? Untouchable, of course. Do I want you to have death from above? No, I want you to have run and gun. Because there are situations where it's just necessary. That's a lot of supplies. Okay, training center, improve soldier bond. Have fun. Infirmary. No. Infuse not quite ready yet. I think by the time we finish... Ooh. I think I'm pretty good for those right now. I think the best option I have is Intel. Really? I have 10 times the supplies that I have Intel, so... I don't mean exactly 10 times the supplies as I have Intel. So it's probably smarter for us to hold up some intel, especially after we just spent some for apparently an unnecessary reason. So that's good fun. Out of curiosity, what do we have? Whom can we hire? Just randoms, right? Lots of randoms. Yeah, every new person I've accepted by over the already given a role. Plus, let's be honest, I've also resurrected a few people. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Excellent. And what else do we need? What's this breakthrough research? What's this resistance order? Superior BCS, increase income, gather intel. Let's get more ability points going, shall we? Uh, who do we have? ready to go. There's probably someone up down here that's ready. Maybe a Coney and Sass? Sounds like a good enough option for me. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. And have some fun. And Making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling pain. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. I think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. <laughs> Accessing the power core, overriding my safety, increasing power levels to tie in, sever the connection. There. So 
some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The Codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead of it. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. New objective added. Oh, great. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. In the field. The Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Nifty. Do I have another project available? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, let's do this Advent Institute. And I think this is where I'll call the episode because we are now ready to go for another mission. Aren't we? Yeah, we need to go to the Codex Brain Coordinates. So that's what we're gonna do next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. I'm just out.